I'm gonna share with you how I minimize distraction around eating healthier through impulse control. Now, what is impulse control? And how do we use it in our daily lives? Because I used to associate impulse control with bodybuilding or athletes that I would coach and build habits with. Impulse control is simply stopping yourself from doing something that's going to gratify you for the short time, in the short term, such as eating donuts, eating pastries, eating fried fatty foods, fast food, you know, all the shit that you shouldn't be eating. <laughs> Basically, breaking your commitment to eating a particular way. Some will call it diet. Let's just call it that. But you break that way of eating during a duration of time. Having that impulse, even though your desired outcome is X, I don't know what it is, being healthy, being fit, weighing 150 pounds, not being winded, walking up a flight of stairs, whatever it is. Some will call impulse control, self-control, self-discipline. But the question is, which I get most often around this, is how do we build that muscle around impulse control? Well, I can speak for myself. When I was competing in bodybuilding, I would be on a pretty extreme nutrition regimen for around three to four months. Now, I know that's not what you're likely interested in, but I'll make this applicable to you. How do you avoid that temptation? How do you build that muscle, so to speak? First, understand that our mind is one of the most powerful tools that we have when it comes to making decisions around nutrition or decisions around anything for that fact. But I'll give you some of my strategies in my life that I use that assist me in not breaking my commitments to eating or at least minimize the challenges around impulses. First, avoid temptation. I know, sounds simple, but if I know I'm gonna go somewhere where I'm gonna be tempted with particular foods, I either choose not to go or I eat ahead of time. And this is really common for me when I simply go out to eat with family and friends oftentimes, like at a restaurant or something. Especially if there's a long line that you have to wait to get seated in, right? When I've already eaten before I go, there's really no temptation based around hunger, regardless of the situation. I'm prepared and my appetite is manageable. And number two, it's really directly correlated to number one. I've sort of already said it, but that's to plan your meals. Just plan accordingly so you don't have time to have that impulse. Frankly, our greatest impulses, our self-discipline falls apart when you're not prepared. You're not prepared with the foods that we know we should be eating. And number three has to do with your future vision. Your desired outcome as to why you want to why you're choosing to make more nutritious decisions. Always visualize your desired outcome every single day. Every day I go over my goals in my mind. I go over how I internalize things to play out. You know, your brain, again, your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real or what's imaginary. So create whatever it is that you want to vision your outcome to be and repeat it over and over and over. Repetition is the mother of all learning and creation. This is how you break any impulse control. I trust that serves you.